Welcome to the Digital How To Series. Today I'm going to explain to you all about audience segments and how you can create those in Google Analytics and use them to create campaigns in Google AdWords. So in Google Analytics, you have the ability to define audiences within the admin section. So the admin section is this section down the bottom. You can see here the gears says admin. Let's just go into the admin section. And then you should find in the middle column um, something called audience definitions. So let's just click on audience definitions and audiences. So now we get to the audience section where we have the ability to define an audience based on whatever criteria we choose. So in this case, we want to create a new audience. So I'm going to either use the default options that are provided here by Google Analytics. So in this case, you can see we could build an audience based on age, gender, language. There's a whole bunch of different ones to find here. Um, down the bottom here, there's a really useful section though, where you can create advanced conditions. So obviously these ones are really straightforward. They're pretty much self-explanatory. You can select whichever criteria you want and it'll define an audience for your visitors based on whatever options that you choose. Um, down in the conditions section, you can do far more though. So let's assume that I wanted to create an audience for anybody that has visited this page here, which is the conversion rate optimization page on the algorithm website. So in this case, I could say, okay, well, I want to find anybody that has visited that page. So if I find the metric, which is page, this list is quite long. So you'll find in here a little question mark that defines what metric you're looking at. So in this case, uh, page, i.e. Uh, part of the URL. So now I can say um, the page must exactly match or contain or is or is not or starts with or ends with. Um, probably the most useful one is contains. So in this case, the URL contains conversion rate optimization. So then if I type in here conversion rate optimization, it's going to automatically know what page I'm talking about because it's recorded that data. And then you can do ands or ors. So you might say or has visited page contains SEO, for example. So let's just do that as an example. So this is now saying, give me an audience for people that have visited this page or this page. And then you can change that to be and or or. So in this case, it's saying um, and have, um, sorry, or have visited one or two of these pages or I could change that to be and you get the idea. You can build your own combination here. You can also do include or exclude. So I might also want to say and exclude people that have already contacted us. So in this case, I might say, okay, um, so page again contains contact, whatever that page might be. So now I've got an audience, which is anybody that's looked at either of these two pages, but excluding people that have gone to the contact page already. Um, so you can build whatever conditions you require. And then if I hit apply, it then says a little summary of what it is that you've defined. It just tells you how many users there were that meet that criteria over the last seven days. But you also have the ability to define a membership duration. Um, i.e. over what period of time you want to keep people in this audience list. So the maximum here is 540 days. So you can choose whatever um, duration makes sense to you. Um, I'm going to stick mine to 540, the maximum. And then you give this um, audience a name. So visited um, SEO or uh, CRO page, um, not contact page. That's basically the English description of what this criteria is here. Then I've got the ability to say where I want that audience to go. So we're running a uh, Google ads campaign for um, algorithm agency. It already knows that it's uh, linked to this ads account. I can select that ads account um, and now it's saying, okay, you want to publish this audience to this destination. I can then hit publish. Just wait for that little success box here. Now, when I go into Google AdWords, I can then create a campaign that specifically targets this audience. So when you're in Google Ads, you'll see the audience um, selection section. 
You can then go in there and look for the section that says people who have interacted with your business. And under that section, I will then find an audience which has a name visited SEO or CRO and not contacted. So now you get the idea. Using people that have come to the website, you can define conditions to say, I want the audience who have visited X, Y, and Z with behavior A, B, and C over a period of X, and then I can publish that um, audience to Google Ads. And the power of that is that you can then get very clever with your campaign messaging and be very specific to deliver a message to an audience that have exhibited a certain behavior. And that is custom audiences and audience segments explained and how you publish those to Google AdWords.